And this is to build our, our piece to test the gyroscope. So we've got the gyroscope fitted here and the motor, and we're working to use the gyroscope and the motor together. Now this piece actually has a custom piece that I've made for you that fits on the front here. You don't need to make this piece here, the orange piece, it's already all done for you. Uh, that sits on there, clips into place, and then the pointer arm clips on here, and your challenge is going to be able to make it rotate through 0, 60, I think it's 135, 249 and 270 degrees and then back to the start. Now using the gyroscopic sensor is really useful because it's highly accurate and it's going to help you uh, get those uh, the motor to turn uh, very carefully and very accurately through those uh, through through the correct angles. So uh, let's just pull that off and we'll make our own. So we're going to start with the base. You need three pieces of uh, chassis, like that, and you're going to use the blue clips, the long blue clips, to clip together like this. And then like that. That's going to provide you a nice firm base to start on. And then on top of that, two clips in here, and a five piece rod along there like that. Then two more black clips and the motor is going to clip on like this. Now it is a little bit uh, tricky using the shield that I've provided uh, to get the motor around the right way so please make sure that your motor is facing the same way as mine. The, uh, the extra spacer is on, side, on the chassis there and then the motor sits on the outside of that uh, facing in that direction. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to do is to uh, make up the attachment for the gyroscope. So, I've got the these pieces here. They uh, have two axle holes on the ends, and in the middle at 90 degrees, they have a hole for a clip. So, we're going to use those, and we're going to use some three long axles. Slide those into there, like that. Slide it through the gyroscope and then place it on the other side. Then I'm going to put some clips into there. And then this is another trick in terms of making the, the shield, uh, the orange shield that I made make work. You need to clip it onto this side. So not the side of the motor that's sticking out, but the side of the motor that uh, that has a bit of chassis sitting behind it, so you can clip that on to that side like that. Now the last thing to do is make the, uh, the pointer arm, so uh, I have a, a 3 rod, an 11 rod, and two blue long clips, and put the clips in there and there, like that, and then the 3 long, like that, and then this is going to sit here like this. Before we do that I'll show you how to put the shield on. So the shield just slots over top of there and you can see the clips are in there, they're already glued in so they're not going to move anywhere, you're not going to be able to break it. And Just click it in there like that. So if you made it right it'll all click together like that and then you can put your pointer arm on there like that. 